Hey, Luke Shelmer, I'm an ENT doc. So today we're gonna to talk about cauliflower ear. Now, I actually like cauliflower. I think it's pretty tasty, especially if you put in a little mayonnaise mustard mix and some cheese over it, really nice. However, I do not want um, to have a cauliflower looking ear. And so cauliflower ear is just a, a, a term that, and what happens when patients have a cauliflower ear is usually from trauma to the ear, their ear has gotten punched or rubbed on, um, and, and what happens is that blood collects between the ear skin and this, this cartilage here that forms the ear. And that blood, and it's called a, a, a auricular hematoma, yeah, fancy, fancy term there, um, if it doesn't get drained and dealt with, it kind of causes scar tissue to, to build up and that ear becomes deformed. And so this is by far the most common cause of this is wrestling. Um, Patients have called this wrestler's ear, and a lot of times if you see amateur wrestlers, not the WWE guys, they don't seem to get cauliflower ear. I don't know why. Could it be that they're not really wrestling? Anyway, they wear these fancy, uh, they, not fancy, they wear these things, cups over their ears so that when they're in a headlock, they're not gonna get those auricular hematomas, and so they won't get cauliflower ear. But if they do, it's super important that we drain the hematoma because if it doesn't drain, then you get cauliflower ear. No one wants cauliflower ear. And so um, from my standpoint, um, if you wrestle, amateur wrestle, not, not doing the WWE stuff, um, which I'm not saying it's fake, I'm just saying it's just interesting, they never have actual real medical issues. Um, and you get uh, a hematoma where your ear all swells up, definitely need to be seen pretty quickly within you know a few days or so, so that that ear can be drained. And we'll put these little things around it called a bolster to keep the, the, the bleeding from, from swelling back up again. So anyway, um, probably most of you are watching this are not wrestlers, um, but that's what cauliflower ear is. If you see somebody who has it, they most likely have been an amateur wrestler. All right.